Hi, I'm Eric Paul, the Chemistry Guru, and you are watching H2 Chem Hacks, making H2 Chemistry simpler, one video at a time. Hi, in this video, we'll learn how to draw the beta beta sheets. Now again, for protein structure, we have four levels, the primary structure, the secondary structure, tertiary and quaternary structure. Now, beta beta sheets, again, is considered as a secondary structure because it's held together by hydrogen bonds between the appendages. Now, if you take a look at the structure for beta beta sheets, it kind of looks like you know, maybe me before I cook it, before I cook instant noodles. So, now, before we draw our beta beta sheet, we have to uh, go through the primary structure. Now, what we need to keep in mind is our primary structure is in a very, very predictable and a repeated uh, arrangement. Basically, it's just this uh, particular structure and it's in a repeat unit. So, position 1 will be my amine group, position 2 will be my carbon with the R group and the hydrogen, position 3 will be my acid group. So, our primary structure will just be basically a repeat unit of my amine R group acid, amine R group acid. Now in order for us to draw the beta beta sheets, we need to draw two strands, our primary uh, structure here. And in this case, I need to draw this uh, amine R group acid uh, three times, but in a zigzag way. So you notice what we have is our amine R group acid, amine R group acid, amine R group acid, and it repeats. So we have to put in the groups. Uh, position 1, I'll have a hydrogen. Position 2, I'll have a R group and a hydrogen. R group are pointing away from the main chain. Hydrogen, I'll hide it inside the primary structure. Position 3, I'll have my acid. And then it just repeats. After we draw one strand, what we do is we duplicate this entire strand exactly below. Now we have drawn the two strands. My suggestion is to use a pencil to box up the peptide bond. Now if you have drawn this correctly, what you notice is between one peptide bond and another peptide bond will just be your carbon with an R group. Now since the secondary structure are held together by hydrogen bonds between peptide linkages, now that I've boxed up my peptide bonds, I just basically need to find the hydrogen bond between one box and another box. So I have oxygen here, and I have a hydrogen here, so between them will be my hydrogen bond. I have oxygen here, I have a hydrogen here, so between these two will be another hydrogen bond. So basically this is how we draw our beta beta sheets. If you have enjoyed this video, please share this with your friends. To learn more about H2 chemistry, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. If you want to know more about my H2 chemistry classes at Nishan, please visit my website. Thank you for watching H2Chem Hacks. I hope I've made H2Chemistry simple for you. I'll see you next time.